Nothing yet, guys? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh, mallards. Where are they? Cut them! <laughs> yep. Oh, there's one. There you go. Yep. This is how you jig freshwater smelt. It's very challenging. Right, Dave? Take some patience. Very challenging and uh, very fun because it's basically sight fishing. You take a little piece of bait, put it on the smallest panfish hook you have, get it right on the tip, and then you just basically, we're in what, two feet of water? Yeah, that's about it. And you, you drop it down and you watch them come over to hit it. When they hit it, you snap. But we're hooking about what, every other fifth one, maybe? And uh, show them what's in the cup, Jim. We got a few. We just started, so we got a few. But it's very challenging. But they're worth eight dollars a dozen. So <laughs> eight bucks, yeah, at least, right? Is that what they get in there? Yep. Eight dollars a dozen. So if you can, while you're waiting for your tip-ups to go off, and you can catch a little bait, you save some money. That's the idea. And the other thing is, at the end of the day, they're good eating. So if we have, you know, a couple dozen or whatever, we'll fry them up in the pan. And nice little appetizer. Eat them up. Here's another one. Another one. <laughs> there we go. Whoop. That's the way. Catch and release. That's a perfect bait size, but yes. it's also very good to eat. And uh, we got some swimming around down there that are probably eight inches. Um, I say just the whole trick is. Uh, the smallest hook you can get, and that's a little panfish, make sure it's good and sharp, and get that bait right on that point because their mouth is so small that it's hard to hook them anyway. But once you get that point in their mouth, well you show Al this, he's going to be out here every day. <laughs> you know? Well we won't be driving, yeah, we've been driving to, uh, all the way up to the Kennebec to get Rainbow smelts. It's a, probably a two-hour drive, but up there, those rainbows, those are, you know, probably eight, eight. Some of those are six to eight inches long. So right. It's a whole different, you know, different type of smelt. Different event, yeah. But anyway, we'll keep you posted. So the next time you get bored ice fishing, and you know the smelt, find a shallow rocky spot. Yep. See if there's any smelt down there, and try and catch them. And uh, a little bit of patience, but it's a lot of fun.